After two days of competition, the armor crews are ready to do what they do best, gunnery. Ron Andrus brings us the last two days in the first ever Sullivan Cup Champions. Day three of the Sullivan Cup kicked off with the tank crews performing dismounted small arms live fire using the M9 service pistol and the M4 carbine. It's more of a stress shoot because it gets their heart rate up as they start running. The scenario is the lead tank hits an IED, they dismount and they have to fight their way through this urban complex up to the top of the hill to retrieve the down pilot and then bring him back to his wingman's tank. Next it was on to the mystery event. The mystery event was they had five targets that they could engage using only the 240 machine gun and the loader's hatch. They only had 150 rounds to do it. It sounds a lot easier than it is. And the 240 machine gun on his hatch is the hardest weapon on the tank to accurately fire. And we put targets out in excess of 600 meters, which is very, very long shots with that machine gun. As night fell on day three, it was time to roll the big guns out onto the new digital multi-purpose range complex and showcase what tankers do best send big bullets down range. Target. Our two biggest events in this competition are the gunnery, the day and the night live fire. The night live fire, we had two engagements, a defensive and offensive engagement, testing the crew's uh, ability to first identify and then engage and destroy targets from a tank at night. Sledgehammer, UAV confirms PC and troops operating your sector. Defend and report out. The U.S. Army owns the night, and that's why we're so successful. And that's why these guys need to prove that they're the best when it comes to shooting at night. After the team shot throughout the night and the sun rose on day four, crews engaged the last event of the competition, the daytime live fire. They'll be shooting two engagements today. Both of the engagements they'll be shooting will be on the offense, so the tanks will actually be moving while they're firing. They'll be presented targets that will also include their 50 caliber machine gun and their loaders 240 today. So every weapon system on the tank will be exercised during today's engagements. So what does General Sullivan think about the competition? I think it's critical that this kind of competition continue. It's making the U.S. Army better. There's no doubt about it. We're a world-class army. These crews are, will be better for having competed, and you can see it here. The 2012 top tank crew in the United States Army and the inaugural Sullivan Cup champions are the tankers from the 2nd Brigade 1st Armored Division out of Fort Bliss, Texas, otherwise known as the Heavy Metal Brigade. It's unbelievable. We came here, tried our hardest on all the events, and uh, it's, it's pretty crazy, but uh, we did it. It's not a one-man job. All four of us, we knew that it was going to be hard, and we just came together and motivated each other to push through until the job was done. I think this competition is awesome. I mean, it's good to have you know, a little bit of competition, and uh, it shows who the best is. For us to bring back in a competition to crown the best tank crew in the Army, that's a huge deal within the Armor Force, and guys are really, really excited about it. The Army is a team of teams. Certainly, I'm proud to be a part of it. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.